Hi, I'm Hala, and I have suffered from anxiety since about, I want to say, elementary school, and then diagnosed with depression late high school, early college. Um, my parents got divorced when I was in third grade, and so I think a lot of my anxiety stemmed from that. It was not the best time, but we've moved forward. Um, depression, I think, just came along from that. Wasn't dealing with my anxiety, didn't know how to work through my feelings, so depression, I feel like, was just a later onset of that. I went through college just kind of ignoring it, didn't really understand what depression was. It's very taboo to talk about, along with anxiety, on top of people just not believing that it's true. Um, I think I went to my first therapy appointment, I wanna say, when I was a sophomore in college. I'd moved home, didn't survive my freshman year moving off, um, came home, Thought it would get better, it didn't, and I decided to go to therapy, and that's where I realized like how severe depression can get. I had never been diagnosed formally with bipolar depression, but my therapist strongly believed that that might have been my issue. I would have very high highs, feeling great, but when those lows came, wouldn't get out of bed, wouldn't shower, wouldn't eat, and that's when you kind of realize, hey, this is a problem. So I started going to therapy, felt great, stopped going to therapy, moved off to get, or to finish my bachelor's degree, went to Georgia College, um, loved it, but realized I was slipping back in that de depression, weight gain, I was partying two, three times a week when I should not have been. Luckily, I was able to keep up my grades. Um, that's one thing that I did stay on top of, but you just realize how quickly you can slip back in that. So graduation's coming up, super excited, but I tore my ACL. <laughs> my, I think it was like two and a half months before graduation. So any plans I had for my degree, which I got in criminal justice, um, gone. Couldn't apply for the GBI no longer. Couldn't apply to be on any force, whether it be a police force, like I said, GBI, or local investigation, which is what I wanted to do. Couldn't do it, couldn't do PT. I, I mean, a recovery for an ACL is a year and six months. So I was out on that. Um, came home because of COVID. Didn't even graduate. Well, I graduated, but couldn't walk. So that's another thing. Like you work so hard for something and you, you get the recognition, but it's not the same. Um, got super depressed after tearing my ACL. Couldn't do anything. Like I could go to work, come home. I was in a brace for six months, PT. Gained even more weight on top of that. And I mean, my weight fluctuated. I've always been the bigger friend, I guess you could say, but it had gotten really bad. I think I had got up to like 215 and that was like my heaviest. And that just takes a toll on you. And when you treat your feelings with food, <laughs> it kind of makes it worse. Like it's, you're a lose-lose. You're upset because of your weight gain, but you deal with those feelings by eating more food because you love food. So I kind of just dealt with that for months and then I started ignoring it again and I'm like, I'm fine. I actually like, I love myself, I'm doing great. And then it hits you, I hate myself. And saying that is awful. Like looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, I hate myself is the worst feeling. And because you want to love yourself. Everybody around you tells you how great you are. You're a kind person, you're funny, I love you, you're my friend. And you look in a mirror and you don't see that. And having to deal with those feelings alone is like probably one of the hardest things ever. So my why would be to get myself not only to a healthy place physically, but mentally. I heard the power of working out can be great for your mental health. And I remember my first day walking into this gym. I was so scared. Me and Savannah have been friends on social media for, I would say probably a year, and I saw where she would post about it here and there, but I never knew anything about CrossFit. So I'm not one of those that was like, oh my God, CrossFit looks so fun, like I wanna try it. I didn't know a single thing about CrossFit. I didn't know how big CrossFit actually was. And I messaged her one day and I was like, hey, look, I really wanna try the gym out. Like, I'm not made for, traditional gyms, like I have social anxiety, like I, I just can't do it. One, I don't know what I'm doing. Two, people are looking at you, but they're not really looking at you, but it still feels like they're looking at you. Three, I am literally like, I'm not even two months out of physical therapy off my knee, like I was still in a knee brace. So I'm like, I think I kind of need that guidance to help me get to a healthier place 
safely. So she was like, yes, like come to a free class, like you'll be great. So I come in here, it's dead week in July, so it's hot, so freaking hot. And I remember walking out with a person that was doing my one-on-one -on -one with, and there were maybe like nine people out there, maybe. And I stopped walking out those doors, full blown, almost panic attack. Tears were coming down my face, and I was like, I can't do this, like I cannot. I was like, I'm gonna make a fool of myself in front of all these people that know what they're doing. So my one-on-one -on -one coach was like, let's take a lap, let's calm down. She was like, I'm not gonna make you do anything you don't wanna do. She said, but let's take a lap and just calm down. So we took a lap, my first 200 meter lap, and then came back in and I joined the group and I had so much fun. And I'm not gonna lie, the first three months sucked. I was having fun, but I was big, I was out of shape. I could not even run a full 200 meter. And so I'm trying to like work through, stick with it, just stick with it, it'll get better. Not seeing progress, of course, for the first, first two months, because why would you? <laughs> Not seeing progress, I mean, I'm sore 24 seven, and it's hot, like I just don't feel like I was getting anywhere. And I remember when I went from 215 to 200, I was sitting here with Savannah and Sue and cried. Because I'm like, I never thought that I could get to this point again, like ever. And I have never stopped coming since July of 2020. And I've lost 70 pounds. I have made more friends here than I think I have made anywhere in my life. And these friends I keep in touch with, these friends I see every day, these friends keep your spirits up, they encourage you, they push you to be your best. You can have the worst day and come here leaving like you've had a great day. I am so thankful for how much this has not only pulled me out of my comfort zone, but it has helped me with my anxiety. Because most of my anxiety stem for social anxiety, like just being around a lot of people. And going from being here on day one, crying because nine people are warming up, to literally walking in and saying hey to every single person, that's just like growth. Like I feel like that's major growth for me. I, I mean, I don't like going out in public alone, and now I can. <laughs> like I go to Kroger by myself, when before I'd be like, mom, <laughs> go shopping with me. Um, for the depression aspect, I do think it has helped. I do feel better more often, but I'm not going to lie. Depression comes and goes, and I would feel awful saying it's cured it, because it hasn't, but it has helped. And that factor right there is one reason, well, this, one of the main reasons, besides not wanting to be sore, that keeps me coming to this gym. I feel like we seriously have a family here. I mean, I think I talk to every coach at least once a week, even if they're not in the gym. I'm messaging them on Facebook and I'm like, hey, hope you're like having a great day or like, hey, I miss you. And I just don't think people see gyms becoming families, because a lot of gyms you come and go, but this gym, these are my like family. Like I could not live without these people by any means. And my mom is so happy that I joined this gym. She's like, you she's like, you have come a long way. Like I got so tired of having to come to Warner Robins to go run errands with you. And I was like, I know. She was doing it in a heartbeat, but she's like, it has helped you tremendously. And I'm just I'm thankful. I'm so thankful. And I wish I wish everybody could have that experience. And I hope everyone here does get to have that experience, whether they're new or have been here as long as me or longer than me. I just, I hope everybody can feel that. Is that good? That's great. <laughs>